Hello. The tech department received a request to try to come up with an idea for Washington Parent Teacher Conferences to be online. So what we have done with the use of Google Forms and Google Docs, we have come up with a process. We do want to make note the process will not be successful without all of your help. I do want to make note we have created a web page on the Atlantic website that is labeled Washington Parent Teacher Conferences. Where is that web page located? You may find that Washington Parent Teacher Conference web page under Schools and under Washington, and you'll notice that it is on the left hand side all the way down here. You will also make note it is also located at the bottom of Quick Links, which is always located on the home page. You may find that either place. I'm going to go ahead and click on Washington Parent Teacher Conferences, and then you'll scroll down and you will make note that you should hopefully find your name. And again, this is just for general ed educators. So if you are a special ed teacher, we will not have a form for you. I am, from my understanding, that is not something that has been done in the past. So this is very similar as the paper copy that you've always done. You send home, have the kids give it to their parents and sign up for a time slot. Now we are only going to do this on an electronic way with the use of Google Forms. So for example, if I click on Melanie Rasmussen and I click on her form and I am a parent and a daughter that's going into or I am a parent and a child attends Melanie Rasmussen's class, they will be asked to fill out this five question form. The form is very simple. It is just their, their parents' name, this child's name, their first time selection choice, and their second time selection choice, and at the very end it is their phone number. That is all we're asking for the parents. That is it. If they do have two kids in the in the Washington building and to obviously be two different teachers, they will need to complete two forms, one for that teacher for the one child and vice versa. So that is just a simple little thing we're all we're asking for from the parents. That is it for part one of this video. Oh, this is part two of the video regarding Washington Parent Teacher Conferences. As you said, as I said before in part one, you saw what the parent has to do. Now we do need your help to make this process smooth. What we have done is you will receive an email from me saying um, a Google Drive folder has been shared with you with your name on it. So for example, I want you to know I'm in Dora Explorer's account and I want you to visualize and think that she is actually a teacher at Washington. This is how I'm going to treat this account, this demonstration. So you're going to get an email saying Jessica Finsel with your name. So I'm going to click on Dora Explorer. And then once you get this, I want you to go ahead and click on Dora Explorer's um, folder here. Obviously, it's going to have your name. And I'm going to skip a step because you guys, the first time actually accessing this folder, you're going to need to click on Add to Drive. If you don't, go ahead and click Open and Drive because that will be the next option, which is the steps that you'll be following, the written instructions. But go ahead and Open and Drive because what you're doing now is you've opened this document or this folder in your drive. If you added it correctly, it should sh show up and appear on the left hand side here under my drive. Now I do want to make note before there's some confusion and I'm hoping you guys can adjust on some of this. You might have noticed your Google Drive has changed or it might look like this. There's two drives out there right now and it's really kind of hard to train to know which drive you're in. I just want to show you the difference here briefly. If I go to my gear and I notice, I can experience the new Google Drive. And some of you might already be doing that. It might look a little bit different. But I'm going to go with the theory that most of you are still on the old drive. So keep in mind that you still have the word My Drive. It might just look a little bit different. And also the other thing is Starred. So just for, just for training purposes, I'm hoping you can navigate between the two different looks. But I'm going to stay back on the old drive because I think the majority of you are on the old drive. So once you've added Dora the Explorer, My Drive, I want you to star that folder. Now you can do it several ways. If it's located over here, you can star it by clicking Add Star here. Now, when a lot of you are probably looking like that and you cannot find your folder, expand it by clicking on this little arrow and it brings down your other folders. You can click on that and add star that way. Or if you are following the written instructions, it's going to be here and add a star. Now, what does that do? That helps you find this folder easily. You have a starred label no matter what drive you're in click on start and there's your door explorer folder or which would be your name. That is your first objective here is to make sure you have the right folder in your drive. 
Once we get in this drive, I want to make note of some of the different documents that you have in your folder. The one that we're focusing on next is the Door Explorer form responses. Remember, in part one, I, a parent will go into the form and then submit their time slots. Where does that go? It goes into the form response sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and click on form response sheet. And if you're following the written instructions, I'm staying on task here. This is objective one. We put the folder in. We start it. Now I need you to set up the notification rule. So what you need to do is open the response document, go to tools, and click on notification rules. Please ignore this step. Okay, what that means now, I'm going to go ahead and add a notification rule. So I'm going to go ahead and click here. You, you will notice you want to notify me, which should say, where it says Door Explorer, should say your email when any changes are made, and I want to be emailed right away. What did you just do? I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And I'm going to hit done because I'm following the written instructions. What that means is when a parent submits a form online on the Washington Parent Teacher Conference website, then you will be notified instantaneously when something gets submitted. You might notice how we use this in the tech department. It's very similar in the tech request form. You submit a tech request, we get an email right away when something's been submitted. I hope that helps you out, but that is your objective. Objective one, please follow those steps and you have the written copy, written instructions as well. This is part two. It's finished. Hello, this is part three. This is going through the entire process. I'm going to submit as a parent into Dora's account. So I want you to see, so I'm going to pretend I'm a parent right now and I'm going to be Mickey Mouse. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go to Washington Parent Teacher Conference. And I'm going to submit because my um, Mickey Jr. goes to Dora Explorer. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the parent's name just like it says. You know, parents won't follow the instructions, but we'll try to. And we're going to do Mickey Mouse Jr. is the child. And my best two times for Mickey would be this one. And then on my second choice is going to be this one. And I'm going to put Mickey's phone number down. And I'm going to hit submit. Now, the parent is done. The parent is completely done. Now, it is your job to be as the teacher. What do you think is going to happen next? We've done in part two. We got an email notification. We signed up for that. So I'm going to go to Doors email. And I'm going to refresh here. And I should shortly receive an email notification that something got submitted on that form. Okay, now that you see, I received an email that says Google Docs Door Explorer Responses was edited recently. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I could do it this way. I could click on this as well, and I can view the responses. But I want to show you, to make sure you know how to find that folder, I want to go ahead and I'm going to go where? I'm going to go to my drive. So I'm going to go to my little apps, and I'm going to click on drive. It's in the folder. I also did what with it? I start it. It might show up right here. You might be able to find it right there, but I just for training purposes, I'm going to click on start, and there's Door Explorer. I'm going to click on Door Explorer, and there's the Door Explorer form responses. Remember, they submitted the form. Now it's here. I need to update the master schedule. What do I mean by the master schedule? Well, parents can't see this. June can see it, but this doesn't help June. This doesn't help the office, and also it really doesn't help you unless you put it on a piece of paper of some sort or a Google Doc. So I'm just going to show you, if I go over to the Washington Parent Teacher Conferences, this is the form that was submitted, but we need to get it on this schedule. So I'm going to click on Door Explorer. This is the schedule we need to update. This is no different than what they filled out with handwritten paper and pencil for the most part, but we just need you to put the names on there. So, how do I do that? I'm going to go back, and you can do this whatever you feel comfortable. If you want to do this every two days or whatever the case may be, I would just do it at the end of the day. You're not going to have that many to do. You could file, print this out, and then manually type them in. That's fine, too. But I guess I can probably, with my skills, can look and go back and forth. But if you don't feel like that is something you could do, you could file and print this and put the schedule in. What do I mean? 
Well, I'm going to look here. Mickey Mouse put his time in um, October 21st at 6.35. So I'm going to look at my different tabs. I'm going to go over here to Door of the Explorer, and it said 6.35 on October 21st. If I'm not sure, I'm going to go back and double check. Tuesday, October 21st, 6.35. That sounds right. So I'm going to go ahead and follow the instructions. I'm going to put Mickey Mouse and then the kids' initials if you want. And I, again, this is just mostly for your information. Great. Done with that. That was his first choice. Now, I can highlight this and say it's done, or I could just say done and put Dora's initials on it, whatever the case may be. Now, for training purposes, I put some other ones on here, and I have not put it on the master schedule. But I should do that. It should go in order. You want to go by timestamp. So this is Marge gets the first divs because Marge was the timestamp, was the very first one submitting. So Bart should get this time. Tony the Tiger, uh-oh. Tony the Tiger wants to be August 21st at 4.30. Well, that's booked because Marge was first. But what's his second choice? At 4.50. Well, that would work. We could put him at 4.50. So that's kind of not any different. You're just going to have to kind of look, obviously. Now, what would happen if there was one person that both options were not available? Well, that's why the phone number's there. So, if, for example, if Tony was not available at any of those times, then I would need to call Mr. Tiger and talk to him and say, these are the times available, what works for you? Or you can drop them an email. You do know JMC has all their emails as well. Whatever works for you. But we did add the phone number. And then you need to call them and find out what time works for you. Works for them. And then you would need to update this schedule. Now this schedule is already on the website. So if I click on Door Explorer Schedule, I will be able to see that Mickey Mouse is going at 635. The only other thing that has not been done in this process is to notify the parents of what actual time is, is available for them. So Mickey Mouse needs to know what time Mickey Mouse Jr. can come, or they can come for the parent-teacher conferences. With that being said, in your Google Drive, you do have a little copy of a note to the parents right here. You can print this out and handwrite it, and what you've always done in the past. So you can write here, say a name, uh, make, uh, the teacher, Dora Explorer, and and then send that home to the your, um, to the kids in their folder. I don't care what you do, just be consistent as a class. I don't think it needs to be consistent as a as a school. The other thing, if you feel comfortable, you could just print 20 copies of these and highlight them. That does not matter. You do know if you do do this, you might say I want to switch some more. That's up to you, but. Please update this schedule pretty periodically because this is what June has access to as well. Also, the benefit of this is if your SPED teacher needs to know when Mickey Mouse is coming, they can look at your class schedule as well because they have rights to view this. Everybody has rights to view the schedule. So I hope this makes sense. I know it's a lot of information and maybe you're not familiar with forms and Google Sheets as well, but I do think this is a great tool. And I do want to give kudos to the office staff for trying something new that they want to do this. The tech department's very pleased that you're trying to try something new that is with Google related. If you have any questions, um, Stacy and I and Roger will be more than happy to help you. Thank you.